Hi, I'm Bob. When we deal with survey data, we often take the sample weight into consideration. For example, the 1980 census dataset contains 50 observations. Each observation is for a state. Most of the time, the data for different states should not be treated equally because the population in each state is different. We should take into account the weight that is attached to each observation. The weight is important because that reflects the feature of survey data and the statistics could differ widely. For example, the mean number of divorces is around 24,000. However, the population weighted mean is doubled at about 48,000. Notice that with the frequency weight option, the observation number becomes the number of people living in the United States when the survey was conducted in 1980. For the survey data, when we draw scatter plots between two continuous variables, we should consider the population weight. When the weight is involved in the graph, the scatter plot becomes the bubble plot. Suppose we are curious whether divorce and death are related. First, let me show you the scatter plot of the number of deaths against the number of divorces. Then we add the frequency weight inside a square bracket. Follow the scatter plot command. Now we have a bubble plot. The size of the bubble represents the population weight of the observation. We see that there is a positive relationship between death and divorce. To see the effect of the weight, we can add quadratic lines of best fit on the plots. I draw one quadratic fit with weight and another one without weight. The relationship pattern is slightly different. In this graph, I modify the line color for the quadratic fit and the marker color for the bubbles to make the plots more attractive. If we want to label the bubbles, we can add one more bracket and write a scatter plot command inside it. We specify invisible markers by the marker symbol option. The marker label option tells data to show the name of states. The marker label color and position could also be modified. If we want to label some of the bubbles, we can alter the scatter command by adding an if condition. Here we are. The bubble plugs are satisfactory. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time.